Hello friends, welcome. My name is Lucas, aka Lucas Yarns here on the YouTube streets. How are you doing? Uh, this channel is about all things knitting, crochet, yarn related crafts. Uh, we do it all here. Uh, today I am very, very excited because I am unveiling the very first mod challenge. So let's walk back a couple weeks. A couple weeks ago I was speaking to my mods on my Facebook group and I said, Let's do a challenge. I say, you guys pick out yarn. You guys pick out a pattern for me. Send it my way. And I'll make the thing. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what it might be. All that I know about this specific project is that it's crochet. So we're going to, we're going to dive right in. So basically I have here, <clears throat> excuse me, a box of yarn. And a pattern is in my email uh, to go with this yarn. I have been told very specifically from Amy, our friend of the channel, Amy, mod of the Facebook group, Amy, um, that I don't have to use this yarn for the project, depending on how I feel about the actual pattern itself. Now, Amy sent me the pattern a couple of days ago. I have not opened my email for fear of spoiling anything, so I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what's in this box with the yarn. I don't I don't know anything. So we're gonna dive in. So basically, they've chosen the yarn, they've chosen the pattern. I now have to make the thing. <laughs> so I'm super excited because sometimes, friends, I have difficulty choosing projects. I don't know what I want to work on half the time. Uh my ADHD kicks in and I want to do it all, but I also want to do none of it. Um so sometimes it's like pulling teeth for me to even understand what I'm trying to do that day, let alone something I might want to do in the future. So as I try to open this box <laughs> carefully and quietly without causing a bunch of issues, I'm just going to have to rip it, I think. Ugh, there we go. That sticky stuff on here is going to be, I see the ball bands of cakes. This is going to be interesting already. Okay. Okay. Let's see what the yarn is. <laughs> Let's see what Amy has decided we are going to be doing. I see Ferris wheel. Oh, look at these colors. Look at that. Look at the colors of that. That is pretty. Lion brand Ferris wheel. In the color summer day. Okay. Okay. And we have some more. There's more yarn in here. Uh, we love yarn. Never heard of this brand before. Classic acrylic yarn. Color 21. And there's three, four, five, six of those, and another Ferris wheel in here. There we go. That one's, yeah, that's good. Put that over there for now. That's outside of the box so I can show you the colors more better. The colors more better there. Much, much more better. It's a little darker in person than that, but you get all the colorways, all the color pieces in this option here. That's really pretty. Okay. So we have four of those. And what? Six of these? Let's put these together. How am I doing this? Very carefully, apparently. Put those together. Look at that. Already got a lot of color going on. Already got a, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I've seen the Ferris wheel before. I've never used it, but I've seen it before. Uh, this one, uh, We Love Yarn, 100% acrylic. I don't know who this is from. It's from Hobby or Hobby. Um, these are are 50 gram balls, 150 meters, 164 yards, and it calls for four to four and a half millimeter knitting needles, four to five millimeter uh, crochet hook. Um, it's a light number three. Okay, okay. We have six of those. The Ferris wheel, for those of you that don't know, I will show you, I will learn how to camera one day. Ferris wheel. 
from Lion Brand. This is a medium four, calls for four and a half millimeter needle or a five millimeter hook. So, okay, so we're probably gonna do five millimeter. Okay, okay. All right, the color number, uh, color is summer day. Um, and these are um, 270 yards, 85 grams, or 247 meters. For those of you that are following along at home, again, there's that color. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the pattern. This is going to take some jiggery pokery on my pet behalf. So I'm going to open the pattern on my phone. I have it in my email. And I'll put a screenshot on the screen here of the pattern itself. Now, some people are able to do this whole scrolly thing where you're scrolling and recording your phone. I don't know how to do that. You're going to get the pattern here. So this is... Uh, Amy says, excited to see you make this one. I think you will like it. Uh, let's open it here. Oh. What is this? The Embossed Phoenix Shawl by Lianca Azule. Look at that. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow this up so I can see it. I'm going to post a picture here for you to look at this. That is gorgeous. Do I have the skills to make this? I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking I need to look through and see... Editing Lucas jumping in here to say, uh, please check out the description for a link to this pattern on Ravelry. Uh, it is available on Ravelry as a paid pattern. Um, I did purchase the pattern uh, just so that I'm able to share these details with you. Um, the full information of the pattern is in Ravelry. Please go check that out. Interesting. I'm looking through here. Um, has some special stitches, some post stitches. Some post stitch increases and decreases, I think. Okay, okay. Intermediate pattern. Um, okay. I'm going to need to look through and see. That's going to be quite a bit of work, but it's gorgeous. Don't you think it's pretty? Okay. Okay. That is definitely going to be a challenge. I need to decide what I want for my main color, which is probably going to be the purple. And then this will be for the feathers. Or should I do it the other way around? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking this is going to be my main color. And I think this is going to be the color of the feathers. How beautiful is that? All right. Well, looks like I have a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I have an absolute challenge and it's going to be a beautiful piece. Listen, I'm excited. I am excited. Um let's see what I can come up with. Keep your eye out for the on the channel for updates for this specific project. I'm not going to show it in my normal update videos. This is going to be outside of that. Um so uh, it'll take me some time to create this wonderful piece. Uh, I am super excited for it. That's it's beautiful. Amy, you outdid yourself. Um, so I think I'm going to go try and do a gauge swatch and figure out which is my main color and which is my uh, secondary color. Uh, but wish me luck, friends. <laughs> I think I'm going to need it. No, I, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, so until next time, thank you for watching. Happy stitching and Let's see how it goes. <laughs>